a lot of supply and very low demand. Can you think of any great examples of that? I can't think of too much offhand, but if we were to use, I mean, here, okay, you have an idea. What is that? Here's one thing. After COVID, there was a just random thing that I thought of, hand sanitizer. During COVID, a lot of people, I'm pretty sure we're making a lot more of that because more people were using it. The demand went up, and so the price probably went up, so there's a reason to create more supply. After COVID slowed down or stopped, then the demand went down, but they still had a lot of extra supply. And so you could find hand sanitizer, like massive things of it for next to nothing in plenty of stores. And the market sets the price for things. Why is that price important? Because if the price goes up of things, like if there's not enough of something, it means the price goes up and there's more of an incentive. We frequently talk about incentives. There's more of an incentive to create more of that thing for just regular things. Food, for example. If there's not enough food, prices will go up for it. And there are plenty of times when that has happened, but that incentivizes people to bring more food in. And once there is an excess of food, then people don't need all the extra as much. So prices will go back down after that. Does that make sense, Ethan? Yeah, it's like market cycles. Sometimes it'll go up, sometimes it'll go down. And it depends, especially on what's happening in the world. Like you mentioned, you use COVID as a good example. That was when there was a huge demand for the masks and hand sanitizer, at least for some people. Although it seemed to be like people were giving those out. So I don't know if that's the best example for high prices. Well, think about this. A lot of people were giving them out at one point in time, but think about this. Nothing is free. Somebody always has to pay for it. And so who was giving it out? Well, some people were buying them, like hospitals probably had a bunch, but I know some people, some of the cities around us, even I know the cities came into your business and gave us a big box of masks and a huge thing of hand sanitizer for us to set out. So I'm guessing that was the government that some of them at least went out and gave those to people. And like we've talked about in previous episodes, it's not actually free, especially from the government. Mm -hmm. It's basically just coming directly from our tax dollars or from the magic money tree, <laughs> AKA the printing press, because they print money way faster than trees could grow. Uh, but it comes right off the printing press that we're going to eventually have to pay back for with higher prices. Yep. So either way, we end up paying for it. 